uh, I'm not impressed easily. And, you know, I've had an opportunity to meet and work with a lot of high net worth individuals. And, uh, and most of them are very, very similar. Um, when they spend their life uh, acquiring a certain amount of money, um, their next goal is to acquire more of it or spend all of their time protecting it. And what we have in Wright and a number of other uh, high net worth individuals that are really actively engaged in this project at a, at a major level um, are people that aren't trying to create more wealth. Um, they're trying to distribute wealth. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, and uh, I'm really excited to walk you through this. Here's just a little bit of background about me, some of the things that I've done. Um, I'm 45 years old. Um, I took my first company public when I was 21. Um, I've, uh, uh, I've been a part of four exits, companies that have sold and exited. Uh, I was in the dot-com uh, revolution in 1998 to 2004 after graduating college. I went into MLM uh, for a few years and then found myself in solar for 10 years. Um, uh, my mother's Australian. So I grew up in Australia until I was 10. And then we moved to the United States when I was, uh, when I was 10. I went back uh, to Australia um, later as an adult to do network marketing and multi-level marketing where um, we were selling long distance service. And uh, this was 17, 18, 19 years ago. Um, and so I'll, I'll talk about long distance service again. But um, I'm super excited uh, to be in blockchain. And, um, and my family and I have committed uh, the next 10 years uh, to this project. That's what's in my agreement. I signed an agreement that was making a 10-year agreement uh, to do this business and nothing else. Okay. Now I'm trying to remember what you said. No, kidding. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Jonathan Gibbs hat mit 21 seine Karriere begonnen als Entrepreneur, war auch, ähm, also als Unternehmer, war auch übrigens äh, in der Network-Industrie zu Hause sehr, sehr erfolgreich, war die Nummer eins in einem anderen Unternehmen, ähm, hat drei Firmen an die Börse gebracht, sehr erfolgreich und seit zehn Jahren äh, Fokus auf die ähm, erneuerbare Energie, sprich im, im Solarbereich, führte, und die, das Unternehmen gibt es immer noch, das werdet ihr gleich sehen, wenn er das vorstellt, äh, die führende äh, Solarfirma oder Unternehmen der, der Welt. Um, um, so that was my, my family. Um, I was showing you pictures of my family. I have um, uh, two birth children and seven adopted children and one more on the way. My, the company I recently built last year, we spent, um, it was very similar to Green in that I spent seven or eight years inside of an industry, learning the industry, researching the industry. Then I put together a growth strategy and we grew the company from 50 million in sales to a billion in sales in 18 months. Yeah, and, um, and so I exited this company last year and the equity that I have, I'm, I'm still the fourth largest shareholder in the company. Um, it's, it's worth a lot of money. And I, in the selling of that company and the exit of the company, I pretty much accomplished um, all the financial goals I've ever had in my 20s, 30s, and 40s, and um, were really able to create a meaningful exit where myself and my family, um, you know, have the fortune of really not having to work anymore if that's what we choose. Um, but uh, so I took six months off and I... Um, I started helping younger entrepreneurs who were in software start their software companies. And they would give me equity in their companies for teaching them how to do the things that I was that I knew how to do. And so really over the last couple of months, I was making, you know, more money than I've ever made doing the least amount of work. Uh, because I was just consulting for other companies, helping them, you know, teaching them how to do how to big how to build big companies like I had built. And I really wasn't planning on going back to work on something full time um, until I saw Green and, uh, and met the team. And really myself and my whole family, we just really feel compelled to do this. Yeah. And so my situation, um, it's not much different um, than Jack Dorsey. 
So um, Jack uh, started mining Bitcoin really, really early on, like, you know, 10 years ago. And so as Bitcoin went up in value, he started thinking, wow, people really want to use this currency. Maybe I should integrate it in, into my business. And so he integrated it into Twitter and Foursquare. But as Bitcoin continued to go up in value, he has since quit Twitter, um, kind of like I'm quitting solar, right? Instead of going back into solar and trying to build another solar company, um, I think the best opportunity for my family and myself is to do what Jack's doing and to work in this model, in a decentralized model, where we're furthering the adoption of Bitcoin and green coin as instead of trying to create shareholder value in a publicly traded company. So we want to create value in the coins by people using them versus value in stock. Yeah, so I believe there's going to be a movement and it's already started of business owners, not, not just networkers. I mean, some of the most successful business owners in the world of traditional businesses are going to leave the traditional capital marketplace like Jack has, like I have to build in a better ecosystem, a more fair ecosystem. Jack built Twitter. But when you go public, your shareholders are now in control of you through the mechanism of the board of directors. And there is a board of directors that would tell Jack what he could say, what he couldn't say on, his, on Twitter. And he made Twitter. And um, blockchain offers a freedom because it's an open source and everybody can participate and everybody can participate at a fair and equal level and no one controls it. Um, not every project works this way. I, we can talk about that later. Um, so you have to translate that, but no one controls Bitcoin. People vote. Um, anybody can mine it that they want to. Um, and it's the same as green. No one controls green. No one owns green. No one, there's no board of directors making decisions. If you own a green node, you get to vote on what green becomes and how it changes the world. So um, Bitcoin, as we know, is really popular and it's the number one uh, blockchain project in the world. It's worth more um, than all the other blockchains combined, right? It has over 50% market share. But now that it's been around for 13 years, um, we're recognizing that it could be better. So just like the iPod came out 13 years ago and everybody used the iPod for music, but the iPhone lets you do it way more efficiently. And instead of a $300 iPod, you can have a $500 iPhone and do many, much more things. Um, green is the same structure of Bitcoin, decentralized voting. Um, nobody owns it. It's not a corporation, but it's, it's many times more efficient and much more evolved than Bitcoin. And the world is asking for this. The world is asking for something that works exactly like Bitcoin, but that uses less power and is easier to use. And so maybe just this is from a year ago and you can just read these. This is the evolution of Tesla working with Bitcoin. And I would include the last line at the bottom right here. And just I would read this and then the next two slides and then we'll go into the green. OK, and so. There's a movement away from mining Bitcoin with dirty power because it requires so much power. And so this is um, the guy who started Shark Tank. And in Europe, it's Dragon's Den. And he is selling all of his stock in companies that mine Bitcoin with anything other than solar, wind and clean power. OK, and um, one more thing, because... Uh, um, these articles will talk about moving electricity around the world. And, um, and then later in the presentation, I'll reference how green can not only mine Bitcoin or green more efficiently, but it can also help us move electricity around the world more efficiently. And so these are examples of this. So the right Other example is microgrids and the left example is underwater cable. Um, I'm getting motivated. What's that? Excited. If you talk about it. Oh, yeah. Well, um, 
Well, I mean, you know, I've only spent a few hours on these slides, so we'll help put together a message that um, when that's your good. team can share the message, that's when it starts growing, as you know, right? When when hundreds and thousands of us can can share the message easily and in a way that's um, that's not confusing. Um, all right, so uh, so we'll go to this, and we can just let's just do these um, slides together. So um, so something strange is happening. Uh, etwas seltsames uh, um, passiert. Um, big industries that have been a, around a long time are being disrupted. Um, so here's what's happening. Um, disruptors like YouTube created the largest media platform, even without creating content. Now they are. Uber built the largest transportation company without buying cars. And Airbnb is worth more than Marriott and Hilton, and they don't own any rooms. Um, and so I want to give examples of how, like, um, ask everybody, because you got 100 people on it, ask everybody, are people like familiar with metaverse projects? So the idea is taking something that exists in one universe in one form and converting it into a different form that either is shared or transmitted in basically a different universe, right? Like paper is mailed through the mail. Data can go to satellite or in cable under the ocean, right? And so we're taking something that moves from one universe, mail, physical mail, and we're changing it to move through another mechanism that's cheaper and faster, in this case, satellite transmission, uh, phone lines, or cable lines. So if I wanna take one piece of paper and get it to China in 15 hours, it has to go on a jet and it's gonna cost two, $300,000. But I, through a fax machine, I can turn it, I can turn a physical piece of paper into data that instructs another fit another machine to reassemble the piece of paper the exact same way and i can do it for a fraction of the cost in a fraction of the time and we all understand what a fax machine is okay when i was uh 20 years ago um i signed up in a network marketing opportunity to sell long distance savings it was to save money on a bill you have to pay every single month, your long distance bill. Everybody that had a phone bill also had a long distance bill. And the price of long distance was really expensive because we used to send sound waves as sound. We used to send sound as sound waves all over the world. Now, the price of something that was being sold for a dollar a minute has disappeared to zero cost. If I had told you 20 years ago that your $100 long distance bill could one day be $10 or $0, you might think that was impossible. But not only today can we turn our sound waves into data, but we can turn our sound and video into data and then reassemble it. And we can do it for so, so cheap and so fast, it's free. We can do FaceTime for free, Facebook talk for free, WhatsApp for free. So if we can do this with sound waves, right? Um, in a bill that used to be 100 to $150 a month, why can't we do this with electricity waves uh, in a bill that is equal to a few hundred dollars a month. We can right now, today. Power. It's a hundred years old. It's trapped on the grid and it's expensive to distribute just like phone lines were a hundred years old. The telephone lines were a hundred years old and sound was trapped on the wire and it was expensive to distribute because you had to distribute on those wires. But when we turned it into data, 
and we could hit it off satellites and we could hit it off internet and we could hit off everything. We freed it and it became cheap and almost free. And we can do the same thing with power. It's great to be talking to so many Germans this morning because Germany actually exports renewable energy right now. Correct. Er sagt gerade, dass die, die, es ist schön, das in Deutsch zu machen, weil die Deutschen exportieren ja erneuerbare Energie. Correct. So Germany is leading the world by doing half of this. Germany is taking electricity off the grid and storing it in batteries and can literally export the batteries um, to other countries, even if they're not connected on the grid. So this is... This is a, a smarter way of moving electricity um, wirelessly, right? It's time to think outside of the grid, which is the physical limitations of the physical infrastructure, right? So if we can convert electricity to something that travels off of the wires, we can move it around the world faster and cheaper, okay? I think we've said that. So, um, so how does it work? Very simply, we're going to take, so instead of taking a lot of electricity and turning it into Bitcoin, we're going to take less electricity and turn it into green coin, right? Right now, the node right now, if you download and buy a node, it can cost $10 to $20 worth of power to run, depending on where you are in the world. And for $10 to $20 a month in electricity, you can mine $200 of USD based on the current price on Uniswap of one cent. Well, 200, right? A node makes yeah. 700, cent, 700 coins a day times 30 right. times one cent. It actually makes $210 a month right now. It's over 20,000 times better return than mining Bitcoin right now today. So by turning electricity into data, We can text that data anywhere else in the world and someone can use that data in the form of currency to purchase electricity anywhere else in the world on a totally separate grid. And so um, Green is the first company to take electricity and invert it when inverter, literally, right? There's an inverter on our solar systems. And instead of inverting sunshine into electricity, we can invert electricity into digital electricity that can be used in the metaverse or in this universe in the form of currency or electricity when you, if you use your currency to buy it. You want me to say that again? Or you, again? Okay. And so this is happening now where, um, you know, Facebook has been a huge content provider without creating content, Airbnb, has more rooms for rent without owning a building. Bitcoin is one of the largest currencies in the world without a government to enforce it or a trading desk, right? Uber is one of the largest um, transportation companies in the world, but they don't buy their own cars. And green is going to be one of the largest power companies in the world that, that doesn't have to create power. Because if you can use $20 worth of power to create $100 worth of currency, That currency can then buy $100 worth of power. That $100 worth of power can create $400 worth of currency. And so we can actually multiply the value of existing electricity that is on the grid. And so the idea from a value proposition is, would you and people you know trade $50 worth of electricity for $100 of currency? And if so, would you do it every month? Okay, and once, once we set up that value system, um, the whole idea behind, you know, mining is to have extra, right? If you can use $50 worth of power to create $100 worth of currency, you can both pay your power bill and then have extra to put for um, other items, right? To create a surplus um, through the power, not a deficit. And so we can use that to buy other things. Um, When do we start? <laughs> yeah, when do we start? So what ma what's making this possible is a switch credit card, right? And this is not a new idea. There's a lot of credit cards that use blockchain, but we wanted to have 
a credit card that would integrate in every country with green. And so green was basically put on pause until we could launch our own credit card so it could be easier to use, okay? And the reason why this is important is because most power companies around the world, they don't accept Bitcoin. So they're not going to just start accepting green right away. Um, and through the switch credit card, without the user having to do anything complicated or the utility company changing their systems, it can send the green that you're mining in your node to your switch credit card, convert the switch credit card to local currency, and you can set it up one time on auto bill pay, and it just does it automatically for you every month. This is so that we can launch green around the whole world at one time without changing people's business systems. Yeah. And so Switch is launching this month. They are already taking, they already have a wait list for people to sign up for a Switch credit card. So um, they will be issuing the IDs so that even before the physical card is mailed to you, you can have the account number and you can use the account number to sign up with your power company to pay your power bill. Yes. So even before okay. you get the card, um, it's going to be so they're taking orders, they're processing the orders. And in the next 30 days, they should be uh, giving out uh, the credit card numbers so people can start using them. OK, so um, this is important because. Um, most people don't use their crypto. I've been in crypto for five years. I don't use it, right? It's, it takes too long to pay. It's not easy to use. Uh, the merchant companies don't accept it. And so everybody, when they're buying crypto, they're just buying it, hoping that it goes up in value. But in order for these things to go up in value long-term, people have to use them. Okay, so... This is my plan. These are the action items that I am trying to do with my development team and my global partners. Number one, I want to build a global business team that can buy nodes, run the nodes, and start voting on our development roadmap. The two books that I would recommend on how we're going to go real big, real fast globally is Play Bigger and blitz scaling, specifically blitz scaling, um, talks about how to build a company so big and so fast so that you can um, you won't be destroyed by some of the bigger, stronger companies in the market. In this strategy of blitz scaling, you favor speed and, uh, and adoption over perfection, which means you wanna move everywhere at the same time really fast even if not everything is working. I want to create a better checkout experience, a better support experience, but it's going to take time. If people want to get involved when everything is fully done and everything is working perfectly, that's probably six months from now or 12 months from now. They have the privilege to be at, at basically ground zero and have the possibility to mint it to... to uh, a lot more lower price than, than everybody else than, than in, in six months because right. it will explode. Yeah. yeah and I, I want to be clear though, that um, <clears throat> I'm you like, we're looking for partners right now, like me and you where we're used to building in this messy early environment. Like when I went and launched ACN, I went into the country before the company went in there. And so they had no systems and no process. Like I built my company on paper. So when the systems went up first day, I could sign up 10,000 reps and 150,000 customers in their system. It looked like it was one day, but it was several months of building on paper. That's kind of what we're going to do here. Some of the systems are working. Some of them are, but we're ready to go. We're ready to start telling everybody about it. Um, and we want to start with people that sort of have the, um, the emotional intelligence and the appetite for risky, messy early stage business models. Okay, so my priorities are to sell out the rest of the nodes, right? So in three and a half years, they've sold about half of the nodes and I wanna sell the rest of the nodes and get them turned on and working this year, right? So the nodes are sold in a smart contract and every time nodes are sold, the price goes up automatically in the smart contract 
Today, they're $5,700, but the <clears throat> same exact node that sold for $5,700 for Gala is now selling for 98,000, okay? And so that's my number one focus. Number two is to integrate the Switch credit card as soon as possible. I'm hoping to do this globally in less than 90 days so that us and our friends can use their credit card to pay their power bill automatically. Uh, and then so the, the, the third thing I wanna do is uh, to be able to put out the, um, an up-to-date uh, transparent documents on the block rewards. The rewards for Bitcoin are Bitcoin, transaction fees, and voting. The rewards for green nodes are um, uh, green mining, transaction fees, NFT lotteries, and voting. So I'm very happy that you came on board and uh, show us the way <laughs> and the direction because I know you have the experience. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. And uh, talk to you soon.